at least merely model up all with a update or, or a, a new build sorry of 1967 Plymouth GTX I did a recording earlier on and said 65 even though you can see it's 67 anyway never mind this is another one so just to say that this is a Flory build it's a swinging 60s group build uh, which I'm doing on floors. It lasts six months from the first January right through to June or Ju June. Yeah, June. And so it's uh, going to be a good one, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we had an option of doing anything in the 60s: aeroplanes, tanks, or planes. But I decided to to do another car, and uh, this is the one. And the kit number is eight five four four eight one, and it's a rebel kit. And as you can see, uh, there's all the bits and pieces. Now these fit pictures are going to come up. You're going to see a video before this so hopefully you'd have watched through that and there you go and that's the build i'm building and as you can see i've started and let's bring it back in and this is it i'm just going to move the camera down slightly so we're just going to do it now there we go down to that view so we can bring it a bit more into view there she is now i that's not been glued together apart from the, the firewall the radiator wall at the front and that's the bits going to be glued and it's been sanded off and and uh, with a fine sandpaper and if I take this out now I won't take it out actually this actually cliffs out you can see it's all loose like that and the reason I add that is when I was actually building this I actually I saw, hold on let's be prepared let's get the other bits out of it ready to show when I put this wall in here this radiator wall in I couldn't get it to sit straight or even keep that square so, uh, so what I, I took a little while to work it out but I thought so if I put the bottom pl floor plan in the actual floor floor pan in or the chassis what I'll get then is that this lines up then here like that it's like it should do and I also taped this in the, the bonnet after cleaning it up put that in taped it in with Tamiya tape and then slid that in and then from the underneath I come in with this this the, the radiator wall into it and that actually sorted it out and that's good so it's basically like that so that's got done now so I'll move that over there even as I leave the radiator on now uh, so that's going to the floor's going to come out when I finish this video so that's that one it's come up a bit better there you go that's it and so, and also done the engine and uh, where's that other bit oh, is that? there it is there's the engine and you can see it's um, white and it's not very good that's why I'm doing it without the green background in fact I think the green background made it a bit awkward but you can see the off color bits are actually the bit that had chrome on that that bit lifts off and the two rock off covers lift off as well they're just uh, white glued on so they don't fall off and they don't get lost and it's all been cleaned up uh, cleaned all the all the panels and bits and pieces all the seams have been done this is the um, this would have been chrome and all this was all chrome as you saw in the one of the photos sits on there like that to be done i'm going to put some plugs in wire it when i get around to that you can see the four sections you're going to do so i should be wiring it to the actual um distributor there you go so that goes in there so that goes there so that's that's been done and oh, i'll put it on there just, for, just so i don't lose it there you go sits like that and then i've done a bit of the just cleaned all this up this is the floor pan it's gonna have carpet and i'm gonna put some carpet stuff in this one um that's bit Seat, seats have been done just to show there it is there's one on another one they actually fit in lovely i should prove that with one side just just been cleaned up and glued together the actual radiator itself is done with the shroud at the front obviously goes in with the this bit at the top it's got the old filler cap at the top i've got to clean that bit i've just noticed that i'll see one there but that's ready to go in as well so that's to do with the engine exhaust pipes have all been cleaned up and when I cleaned them up I actually run over with some extra fin on it just to make it all smooth again this is one of the side panels that fits on there nicely as you if I just put this one in you'll see what I mean goes in nicely they're going to be painted separately and then put together afterwards and there you go goes really nicely on there oops there you go fits nicely that's that bit headlight bit's been cleaned off and that's why it's an off color again once it's been uh, primed and everything it looks the same and and it test fitted on the front and it goes in nicely so that's okay uh, and uh, the back one that you can see here the back bit that's nice as well so everything's coming up quite nicely so is that gonna go yeah that's it's as dry as it goes 
could have used the other light. But anyway, so yeah, so it's all been done. And it's well, great. And these are the, um, this is one of the actual scoops. You get two scoops for the front, one near and one over the back. So there's two. You can have the large one. I'm doing the standard car, so more or less a standard car. So this is just on the, there's still the GTX, but it's just a slightly different one. There's a big, big wide scoop for the front if you do the old turbocharger one, which I'm not worried about doing. So I've got to drill up some holes in the boot, in the actual lid. So that is it really, I think. I don't think there's anything up here to look at, because no, some more bits and pieces. The tyres, obviously. Oh, there's the. Um, that should have been the box. Here's the actual um, console, and there it is. It's got to be. It's, it was all chromed as well, so I've took that up. Now that wasn't chromed. That wasn't chromed. No, because it's still white. That wasn't chromed, but it needs a bit of uh, work on it. So that'd be nice. That's all been cleaned up. So they've been cleaned up. So you can see that's where I've got to for so far with the. Um, this vehicle build and um, really happy with it so far um, just a quick one and uh, as I said it's a Flores swinging 60s screw build so this is a six month build so I've got time to do bits and pieces and I've also done a video on my Churchill uh, which uh, I'll use the green background I might even do that again now so but, but um, we'll soon find if you ain't got a green background you know I refilmed it so there you go so anyway thank you very much for watching and happy modeling see you next time Happy modeling.